Hi everyone, Ben Wilson here. I've got some really sad and some exciting news to share with you guys today. But before I get into that, I just wanted to reach out and say, I hope you're safe and sound wherever you are in the world with your friends and family. I know these crazy times are affecting us all in so many different ways. And for me personally, it's been a time to really slow down, think about and reflect on where I've been, what's going on at the moment and where I want to head into the future. It's been a really tough time, but a really positive time on the same level. I've been able to really put into perspective exactly what's important to me in the form of my friends and my family and my health. And I've just learned so much about this. And I hope that you've been able to find some positivity through your journey as well. Through this COVID-19 experience, one of the biggest decisions I've had to make is to stop moving forward with BW Surf products. What this means for BW Surf is that we're not going to be producing any more products at this point. I'm going to be focusing on creating content, sharing my coaching tips, my kite weeks, and just loving and enjoying the sport that I've been doing for over 20 years. Definitely COVID-19 has had a huge impact on our business. From the moment everything shut down, we've basically had no sales. We've really um, you know, had to look at everything across the board on a global level. But before that, honestly, we've really struggled as a brand. My vision has always been the surf side of the sport, to take the kite into the waves and showcase what we can do in the waves and, and share that with people. We've been a niche brand from the beginning and our main vision was to share and try and capture some of the surf market. And although we've got a few surfers in, we've never really got the amount of surfers into kiting that we thought we were going to get into. That was our big picture vision. We thought the sport was just going to be the ultimate natural ex extension to surfing and really good surfers were going to come in and use the kite as a vehicle to progress the sport. And like I said, of course we've got some in, but just not at the levels um, that we thought. And the other thing with kite surfing or the kite boarding market, I mean there's so many genres or disciplines within, is that it's not a huge sport. It's not growing, it's really plateaued, there's probably more people falling out of it than actually getting into it and this impacts all the brands. And there's so many brands within this sport and us being you know, such a niche brand, we've always struggled to be able to deliver you know, the experience that we want on a content level versus the sales that are possible you know, within the market. So this decision isn't purely based on the fact that you know, COVID-19 has hit us, it's that we were just hanging in there and this was really the, the tipping point you know, to push us over the line. And um, it's really unfortunate and it's really sad on so many levels, but we've also had such an amazing journey and amazing experience and I know that we've reached out and connected to so many people on so many different levels all over the world. And for me, that's not a fail at all. It's been a huge success on so many levels, but in the form of the products, it's been really tough. And honestly, building kites and the environment that we put kites out into, the sun, surf and the salt, it's extreme and they're complicated. There's so many parts that go into kites. There's so much work and so much money that needs to go into developing a good kite. And for us, the reality of that is that we just never had the sales to back it up. So at some point in the journey, which is right now for us in this crisis, it's time to make that really harsh decision to not move forward in terms of building products. I'm not saying this is gonna be the way forever, but certainly right now, 
we need to refocus and re-strategize what our place is in the market. And for me, on a personal level, I love coaching, I love connecting with people, and I just love sharing kite surfing. So that's my passion. I want to be able to offer a beautiful experience on every level, and at the moment, it's just not possible with the products. We started BW Surf over 10 years ago now, and the reason why I started the brand was because I had this light bulb moment when a really good friend of mine, Mauricio Abreu, introduced me to the kite and the surfboard. And the very first session that I had, it just clicked in my mind that, hey, I need to share this with everybody. This is the new way of moving forward. This is what I believe in. This is who I am as a person. It links surfing with kite surfing and it is a big part of the way moving forward. And at that point, there wasn't any products at all. And so part of my journey or my vision was that I need to share my experience with people to get them excited about the sport. I need to also build products in the form of boards and kites so we have something to give them to them to use. And but what is really cool is the fact that pretty much every other brand out there now has that line of product within you know, their discipline of, of, of what they put out into the market. We've always stayed as a niche brand because I never wanted to dilute our message, but it was probably a big part of why we haven't been able to grow as a brand because it is such a, a niche sport. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest challenge is I personally see moving forward with the kite industry is that there's so many brands for one. Also, the brands are all making incredibly good products. There's not huge advancements in terms of the technology or the feel of how the kites are coming out. What has increased is the overall strength of the kites. So what this means for the consumer is that you don't have to buy kites as regularly. Instead of it being every year, like it was when we first started our brand, now it's more like every three or four years. I even know guys or have some of my friends that haven't bought kites for five years. So I think that's gonna be a really big struggle for the industry moving forward because I don't see it growing either. So it's not like you've got mass numbers coming into the sport. It's really plateaued and people are only purchasing kites every you know, two to four years, so that's gonna make it really hard. However, I think there's still huge potential. What's amazing about the kite is that there's so many different ways you can use it. You can use it for snowboarding, skiing, wakeboard, twin tip, foil, surf. There's so many cool crossover sports and it has so much potential. And maybe we just haven't reached that tipping point yet where it is going to flow over. And that could happen at any point. And I really hope it does because that means more people are experiencing kite surfing and it's just such a beautiful thing. And I hope that it, it turns out that way in the future. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 situation globally, we haven't been able to run our kite weeks this year. But the good news is, like everywhere in the world, we're just standing by, we're ready to go as soon as everything opens up, and we're gonna come back bigger and better and stronger with our kite weeks once we can get them up and running. How do I thank everybody that's been a part of this journey? From our customers, to our team riders, to everybody internally, everybody who follows us still to this day. I thank you so much. I thank you so much for supporting our journey and being a part of our journey. This is the reason why I created the brand, was for you guys and to be able to share kite surfing and give you the ultimate experience in what I really believed in. And I don't even know where to start with the list of names of people. So I'm not gonna name anyone. You all know who you are. You've all connected with me on some level 
and I truly, truly appreciate it. And I just have nothing but love to give back for everything that you've done for me and for our brand. And I just look forward to seeing you on the water one day soon and ripping a few waves with you.